Naomi Watanabe has had a tremendously successful career. She uh, first gained popularity when she impersonated Beyonce, and then from there, she moved on to other industries and conquered them all. She has her own fashion label, she's into movies, she's into TV shows. But the one thing I really admire her career is how she has chosen to live her message instead of preaching it. Naomi is actually a plus-size woman. She's living in Asia. And that comes with a different level, a whole new level of stigma. Naomi Watanabe is actually a plus-size Japanese woman. Um, as you know, Asians are naturally small. Large in Asia is actually considered small in, in, uh, in the West. So if you think that living as a plus-size woman in the West comes with a lot of stigma, then try living as an actual plus-size woman in a continent where 5'4 is considered tall. But Naomi, never once did I ever hear her use uh, her size as an object of her comedy. She's a comedian by trade. She never once dep self-deprecated to make other people laugh. She never once insulted other people who are insulting people <laughs> that are plus size to make other people laugh. Instead of talking about how plus size women should be confident, they she just lives confidently. <laughs> Instead of convincing other people that you should think that plus size women can be just as beautiful, she just goes out and do her own thing feeling confident. She doesn't preach it, she just leaves it. She seems to be uh, too busy doing her own thing to be bothered by what other people is gonna think about her. The second thing about I like about her is how she has never projected herself as someone who needs protection from all the bad comments. As I've said, Asia, there's a huge stigma against plus size women. You will, you're, you're bound to hear a lot of things. I am a small here in the US, I'm a large there. Uh, and I am being called fat whenever I go to Asia. But for Naomi, she doesn't mind all of those comments. There was a recent controversy in Japan, Japanese Olympics. The creative director, I'm not sure if it's a he or a she. Uh, so the creative director wanted Naomi to perform in the Olympics. But she or he wanted to Naomi to, to actually dress as a pig. And she wanted, or he commented about uh, the Olympics changing their name to Olympic. And there was a huge outcry in the Japanese media about it. And Naomi herself never actually directly addressed the controversy, but she did in the past express frustration and how the media feels like they need to be offended for her. Like she needs to be protected from all of those comments. And maybe they mean well, but that also means that the fact is that Naomi is really actually insecure about her, her, her weight and she actually uh, needs protection against all of those comments. She has lived her entire career, in fact, the opposite. She doesn't mind being called fat. She doesn't mind being called a pig. Um, there's this... Uh, big lesson on on that because when people when you allow people the power over you when you make them realize that you get hurt with their words they will always use against you use use it against you and so Naomi did the exact opposite opposite thing when somebody tries to insult her she takes those insults she makes it hers and she makes it fabulous and then they can't use it against her anymore and I think to a certain extent, actually, I think that's what we all need. This empower of, of other people by taking their own weapon and making it yours. And then, of course, there's her business acumen. As I've said, she didn't stop by being a performer. She has a very successful fashion line and she studied it well, knowing that in Asia, there's not a lot of plus size uh, labels because being plus size is actually discouraged in Asia. Uh, as I've said, because of the stigma, Naomi went in there and said that this is a need that is unfulfilled and she created a label and that is not really addressing, they don't, she doesn't even, in her label, it's not even called a plus size label, it's just a label, it's just a fashion label, but she offers a, a wider range of sizes. And of course, there's the sheer talent. Other performers would actually need big production designs and hundreds and hundreds of backup dancers. But Naomi's different. She can go on the stage all on her own and she will own it. 
and she never ever stops dreaming. She is by far one of the most successful female celebrities or just celebrities, male or female, in, in, Jap in Japan. And she doesn't need to prove anything else. She's very comfortable. I'm sure she's very rich, but it, she doesn't allow it um, to to clip. She doesn't allow the success to to clip her dreams. Just recently, back in March, she announced that she was going to move to the U.S. Yes, we're still in the middle of the pandemic, but she doesn't mind. She said she was going to move to the U.S. and she has signed herself to not just one but two major talent agencies in the U.S. and she was going to go for the U.S. market. And that just shows you just how driven she is as a person. And that's why I think what Naomi Watanabe is just one of the best celebrities you can ever admire. And just she more people should pay attention to her. So go and watch a lot of her videos and support her brands. And do check her out, Naomi Watanabe.